Speaking of prices, bread, milk, meat, eggs, those might be the most common grocery price indicators when it comes to gauging cost increases. Numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows a trip to the grocery store costs 12 percent more than it did a year ago, but the cost of eggs specifically increased by nearly 50 percent. News Channel 7's Andrew Bartline talked to an egg producer today in Caldwell. So, Andrew, what are the factors in play here regarding this price increase? Well, certainly inflation, that would make sense, right, Doug? But there's one that separates eggs out from the other items you might be buying at a grocery store. It's actually the avian flu. So mm. when we went out to Caldwell today and talked to Marie and McIntyre at McIntyre Pastures, she says the bird flu has a domino effect. The Idaho Department of Agriculture confirmed several bird flu outbreaks in April of last year. It largely impacted backyard flocks, but a commercial operation in Gooding did see 10,000 birds impacted by this. On top of rising fuel costs, the rising cost of feed, uh, packaging costs, what it costs to pay labor and employees. Bird flu outbreaks can have a massive impact on top of that. It typically means that fish and game has to euthanize every bird in the flock. And the U.S. Department of Agriculture says this virus outbreak killed 60 million birds across the country. The breeding stock is not there. So you have breeding stock that has been wiped out, therefore you have no eggs to hatch new chicks. You can't replace the birds that are getting old. It's just a domino effect. And then you're depopulating flocks that have been um, infected with the bird flu. McIntyre Pastures has not been affected by the bird flu up to this point specifically, but they are concerned. Their chickens are free range and wild birds could transmit the virus to their 2700 laying hens. But people are noticing these price increases when they go to the store. I don't care where you go. The eggs, I just bought what? A pack of 18 for $6.79. A year ago, you could buy a dozen for 99 cents. She's referring, used to be the cheap she's referring to a specific sale there when she says 99 cents. But to give context to how prices have changed locally, we did a story on inflation last June. Take a look at these prices. A dozen of regular eggs at Albertsons was $2.19. You go to Winco, it was $1.78. Today, a carton of eggs costs $4.99 and $4.53 when we went out and checked. McIntyre also says people are buying eggs from them now more than before because the price difference for a free range egg is actually much smaller in difference to than what it was before. And in some cases, Doug, it can actually be cheaper because they do have some different costs. But of course, they personally haven't been hit by the flu yet, so yeah. it helps them. I, I'm sure there are quite a few people who are buying backyard chicken eggs from their neighbors. It'd too. be it'd be a good time to have yeah. it, right? We were joking about that in the newsroom. It'd help you out a bit. And the prices are probably similar. All right, Andrew, thank you so much.